Hey, good morning. How you doing? Happy Friday, huh? You doing good today? You know who is here? My entourage. And she's all dressed in red, huh? So come are on. you. Yeah, I know that. Well, come on in and say hello. I don't know. I think we clash. We clash? Say the rest of my life. The rest of my life. Is the best of my life. It's the best of my life. Hey, don't forget. You have one of these books, don't you? I do. The How to Pray book. We're giving this away. Today is the last day for this. But we're giving this away to everybody who makes an offering. Today is offering day. Okay. Today's the day that everybody helps us send this message around the world. And believe me, we are going around the world. Amen? So today is the day for this. And if you make an offering or you tithe or, or make a donation today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you at the same time. And I want to put one of these books in the mail for you. Amen. Hey, you got a merry minute for us? A minute. Say Just the rest of my life. The rest of my life. Is the best of my is life. Is the best of my life. Just a minute. A minute. <laughs> Are you timing me? No. Oh. Yes. I, you know, I took a shower. And you took a shower? <laughs> I did. Whoa, I'll work the media. And when I got out of the shower, the mirror was all foggy. And I thought to myself, you know, the Bible says that sometimes we see in a mirror dimly, but eventually we will see face to face. That means, you know, sometimes you read a scripture in the Bible and it's kind of vague. Vague. It's kind of vague. And then you think about it a while and it, it makes a lot of sense. It's like, oh... That's what that means. And you get a revelation of it. Well, that's seeing things face to face to me. There you go. And that's when everything will come clear. There's some addresses for you to make some labels for so we can get these books out to these people because we got some books going out this morning. The How to Pray books. Amen. This is a great book on prayer. If you already have one, get one for somebody else and be a blessing to somebody else. Huh? Don't forget, if there's anything you need me to pray with you about today, call me. Because I am in the mood to get some prayers answered today. I'm in the mood. Hey, somebody got a huge blessing yesterday. Can I tell you? She's going to talk about it in church on Sunday. But got a $7,000 blessing. Is that up there? And she's just gotten a hold of this. Is that neat? We are so excited for her. God, you know, it's just, Mary and I were just talking about this because I just now told Mary about it. And we are so gratified. I just, I can't describe the feeling to you when somebody tells me that God is actually moving in their life, that things are happening for them. It's just like, it's like I never, I never get, I never get over that. I never get over that feeling of just such gratitude to our Lord. I mean, God is so wonderful. He's so wonderful, I can't even describe it to you. And he loves everybody so much. How many of you know that of all the things that God has created, you are his most treasured creation? You are his most treasured creation. Glory to God. Hey, today I want to talk to you about prayer blockers. Prayer blockers. The four most important they have to overcome. There, there's prayer blockers. It's all in the book. It's all in the book. Number one prayer blocker is the devil. Daniel chapter 4. Daniel prayed. Nothing happened. Now, I know that probably none of you have ever experienced that. Maybe. Maybe you have. We all have. Where we pray, but nothing happens. Well, Daniel prayed, and nothing happened. So finally, 21 days later, the angel shows up. And he says, the moment you prayed, your prayer was heard. Now that tells us that the minute you pray, 
God hears your prayer. He hears it. The moment you prayed, God heard your prayer. And I was sent with the answer. How many of you know the answer to your prayer when you pray in faith is dispensed immediately? Daniel's was. If Daniel's was dispensed immediately, that's how God does it. Now that doesn't mean that everybody who prays, their answer is dispensed immediately because it must be a prayer of faith. You must believe that you're going to receive. If you're not in a position to believe that you can receive and pray the prayer of faith, then you get some help with your prayer partners. That's why people call me. But believe me, when you and I pray about something, the answer to that prayer is dispensed immediately. But, the angel said to Daniel, he says, but the king of Persia, the devil, or one of his chief cohorts, stood in his way and blocked him from coming. A blocker, a, a prayer blocker was this devil up there. And blocked him, for, blocked him from getting through for 21 days. How many of you know there's battles in the heavenlies, folks? There's struggles in the heavenlies. But Michael, the archangel, he is the warrior. He came and broke him loose. He came and helped him. Now, can you imagine a struggle going on and Michael, the archangel, shows up? Battle over. That's the end of the fight when he shows up. Amen? And he says, now, Here's, here's, here's what I want you to get from this. If the devil can block Daniel's prayer, he can block yours. But we have one huge advantage that Daniel did not have. And that is, we have the name of Jesus. Remember what Jesus said? Whatever we bind on earth is bound from heaven. You know what I do? If somebody has a, a, a really important prayer, before I even pray for that, I'll bind the devil in that prayer. A lot of times I say, devil, I just, I bind you in this prayer. And then I pray, and he cannot block it. Because the name of Jesus will cause him to not be able to block that. Amen. Amen. The name of Jesus will cause the devil to not be able to block the answer to your prayer. Somebody say glory to God. Daniel, who was a wonderful, wonderful man of God and one of the incredible prophets, everything he has ever said has come true, did not have the name of Jesus to bind the devil with. I don't even know how much Daniel knew about the devil. He probably knew quite a bit. But he knew more about it when the angel showed up and told him that the devil had blocked his prayer. Can you imagine this going on? That you pray. How many prayers do you have out there that are being blocked by the devil? Some? A few, a lot, could be. Could be quite a few prayers out there that the answer is not getting through. The answer to your prayer is not getting through because the devil is blocking it. Read Daniel chapter 10. Now this is huge. This is huge. If you need something today, you call me and say, Pastor Jim, Let's unblock the devil. Let, or let's block the devil. Let's, let's get him out. Let's bind him so he cannot block our prayer. <clears throat> then we'll pray and we'll get it for you. Amen. That's why we get prayers answered. That's one of the things that very few people understand about prayer. There's revelation in this book about prayer that you never heard of. Even, 
I guarantee you, you read this book, you will know more about prayer than the most hardened prayer warrior. Lots of prayer warriors out there. But most prayer warriors don't get any prayers answered. Most prayer groups don't get any prayers answered. Most prayer chains don't get any prayers answered. Because they don't know how to pray. We had a, it was a wonderful man of God. Led the largest prayer organization in the country. This guy could mobilize hundreds of thousands of people to pray with one Facebook post because people would pass it around. And he was sick and broke all the time. So finally, he went into the hospital and he would say, prayers needed, going into the hospital, prayers needed. Everybody would, would make comments. And I used to read down through his comments. Everybody would make comments and say, prayers going up, prayers going up, prayers going up. And then he'd linger. Finally, he died of sickness and disease. And then his wife, bless her heart, had to ask for money to help with his funeral expenses because she was broke. Now, let me tell you something, folks. Wonderful prayer warrior, but he did not know how to get prayers answered or he wouldn't have been sick and broke. Always judge people based on results. You judge people's faith based on results. People say, well, I've been saved for 53 years and filled with the Holy Ghost. Roo, 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 roo. And I say, yeah, well, why are you still sick and broke? Because they don't know how to pray? Because they don't have any faith. Doesn't, you know, the length of time that a person's been saved, I was getting sick people healed three weeks after I got saved. A lot of people say 40 years can't do that. Because they don't know how, and they don't have the faith to do it. I did three weeks after I got saved. I'll tell you, God is no respecter of persons. He doesn't go by how long you've been saved when it comes to answering your prayers. I mean, the devil is going to go out there and block prayers. He don't care how long you've been saved. He don't care who's doing the praying. But we have the name of Jesus now. We can, we can stop that devil or that angel, or whatever it is up there that's blocking the answer to your prayer. Because a lot of times when you pray, the angels will bring the answer to your prayer. Or the Holy Spirit will cause it to happen. But somehow or another, the devil gets in there and he blocks it. We're not going to let him do that. Amen? Hey, I only got to the first one today because I got going on this. There's three more. I'll go through these next week for you. Is that okay? We'll get, we'll get the rest of these next week because I want you to be able to get your prayers answered. There's three more. Three more uh, prayer blockers that we have to get to. We'll get to these next week. I don't want your prayers to be blocked. Amen? Hey, I want you to make it a great day today on this happy Friday and, and share this video with everybody you know. I want everybody to watch these videos. Everybody should be able to get their prayers answered. If you know anybody who needs to get a prayer answered today, anybody who is sick or broke, please have them call me. Share this video. These videos are being shared all over the world now. Australia, South Africa, in the Netherlands, in the United Kingdom, Dubai, Singapore, all these places, India, Pakistan, People are watching these videos. And the word of God is getting into these places. I'm telling you what, the word of God will set these people free. And you are helping us do that. So make sure when you make an offering today, you're going to get your book. Text me your name and address. And don't forget to call me on this offering day. Today is off, Friday is always offering day. And call me today because I want to speak a blessing over you at the same time. Share this video. Make it a great day today. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. I love you very much. I am determined that everybody is going to live in abundance and live a healthy life through the power in the name of Jesus.